All right. Hello, everyone. And peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, you know, God is good. And, you know, he always provide us with the food so they can expose themselves. I just saw a video. Actually, I was going to go live in different channel. But I just saw this video from the apostate prophet. You know, uh, the apostate prophet is a very nice person. You know, and uh, the Muslims, they try to harass you personally for very simple reason we know it this guy he's an ex-muslim and he speak against islam that is the only reason but muslims always they show us that islam is a disgusting cult hijab he made lately uh, just yesterday actually a video speaking about christian prince harassing uh, sexually a muslim woman hmm did I do that? Yes, brother. And they cut duct tape from my uh, live debate on air with a Muslim woman who called me. And even they claim in this from video that they are, she is young. She is, I mean, she is young, but maybe she is 27, maybe 30. But he said, I harassed her. And now they are doing the same. But look what they are here saying here. We will go back to that topic. This is hijab tweet. Look how savage, how low he is. I mean, this guy, he's against Islam, no problem. You don't agree with him, no problem. Call him stupid, no problem. Call him najis, call him kafir, no. Why, why, why you go this level? Look, since he was, talking about what? Opposite prophet. It's morally accepted. I wonder if the, in, the inbreed apostate has any nephew, sons, uh, no, I uh, did not mean nephews or son. I mean uh, both at the same time. And not only that, actually, in different tweet, he said, and let me put the tweet for you on the screen. You know, for me, I don't, I did not follow. This is what, uh, uh, you know, opposite prophet, he showed in his, uh, you know, his video, because it's about him. I mean, he have the right to be upset from this, uh, you know, garbage. Muhammad Hijab saying, why would this incest endorsing Islamophobe who may be attempting to be sexual lure his sister as we speak dictate an entire channel trying to attack Islam when confront for a fair debate reject the offer fair debate we just yesterday we call you a coward you did not even let me talk you did not even let your people hear me you will do fair debate <laughs> but look at this filthy language trashy if i say the same to muhammad hijabi will make a video <laughs> the christian princes harassing me sexually look how filthy they are however you see today I don't really care for those, but they help me. I don't care for hijab and Ali Dawa. I made a video already. It is posted in Patreon. I want everybody to download it and share it everywhere because you will die laughing. Now we go back. This is what he said about apostate prophet. Our topic will be about uh, incest in Islam because this is Quranic teaching. This is Muhammad teaching. This is not opposite prophet teaching you liar it is you muslims who believe in that and we will prove it live on air and i will open my skype soon so any muslim he dare he can including this mimi hijab if he dare he will never dare to do so he can read and translate to us his own islamic books starting from the quran but this is not yet what we will start with when he said that the christian prince is harassing a muslima and this is the original video. They cut most of it and they connect it. Like they put the word panty, suckle you, you know? Why well, you put the whole video so people, they can hear? It was your sister who is harassing. And your sister who is savage speaking about playing with the breast, not me. This is the video. This is the original. Let us hear it. With no editing as it is. Here we go. Anyone can go and download it. And this is posted March 14. And I'm sure if you search for the same video, you will find it in many places, you know. So uh, maybe you can find the, from the beginning because this is just when she called me. 
But if you can find from the beginning, even before she called me, you know, let me, maybe you can share the video. So this is the video as it is without editing of this liar. Let us see who's harassing who. Why well, the Christian? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen. Can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When, when the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. See, I was speaking about kissing black stone. I wasn't talking to her about anything sexual. She is the one who did. Listen carefully. Oh, you want to, to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you, show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no, show me, show me. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, like I don't kiss anything. Show me where why, you why you're a prophet, you why you're a prophet, the pagan prophet, you why your pagan a prophet kiss a stone. Your prophet no, is a pagan man. No, 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 why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Can you Oh, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know, where, you, know, you know what? You know what? Why you? Kiss, why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did you kiss a stone or not? Did you? Did you, did you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, kiss. You, you must kiss his stones, right? Why why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed stones? Okay, Jesus Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother boobs. You, oh, you, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how savage they are? Look what she said. Oh no! What she said. Not, what she not said. Like you. Okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Yeah. Show me a verse. So this is the decent Muslim women who are harassed. This is the decent Muslim women. This is the decent Muslim women. I did. She was the one speaking about playing with boobs. You, 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 and and not only this. If you are a truly a Muslim, you should be offended by what she said because you Muslim, you claim that you respect Jesus and you respect Mary. She was saying that Jesus was playing with his mother boob. Did you hear her? So Mimi Hijab, the coward, the liar, he edited the tape instead of saying this is a shame, shame on you, sister, to say so. He make it the opposite. And you know what? This uh, this video was in my channel for, uh, you know, like a long time. I mean, everybody can see it. Did you hear what she said? I'm not the one who started talking about, I was talking about kissing black stone. I have nothing to do. I, I never spoke about sex with her. But then she mentioned, I said, okay, let us see what your prophet said about that. Listen carefully. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must kiss no, you must kiss his stones, right? Why why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed the stones? Okay, Jesus Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boops? You must be okay. You, you, see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Nothing. Look what she said. Like you. Okay, show me. That show that me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played why with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? Are you going to suckle me? <laughs> this is what happened. You see the cowards? Do you see the liars? And they are doing the same with the poor, uh, 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 you know, opposite prophet. I, I love this guy, by the way. He's a nice guy, you know? But look how savage, how trashy they are. They try to trash you by fabricating lies about you. First of all, this is life on air, you coward. And thousands of people are listening. And it was posted in my page by myself. And I asked the, the Christians to, to post those videos everywhere. This is why we have it everywhere.
this is a shame for you not for us and I was saying to her your prophet said that you can suckle me you can suckle any adult man and she is the one who start talking about boobs so she was harassing me sexually maybe because according to you the one who speak about them <laughs> let us listen more for the conversation no, it's not. Can I suckle you? Mm. Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I can I can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Listen, 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 listen. According to Islam, according to Islam, your boobs is lawful for me. Can I suckle you? Listen. As long as you are talking about boobs and you are a savage, low class person, why you're a prophet? Let us let us read together. Let us read together. Sahla bin to Suhail. Sahla bin to Suhail. Let me let me let me mute. Let me let me mute you. You are you are so dumb. Listen, guys, look at this. Sahla bin to Suhail came to the messenger of Allah and said, "I see a displeasure in the face of Abu Hudayfa when Salim enters upon me." The messenger he said, "Breastfeed him." She said, "How I can breastfeed him and he is a growing man?" <laughs> The prophet he said, I know he's a growing man. So listen, uh, Tahani, can you do breastfeeding for any friend of yours? When the last time? She's when the last so you coward, it's not about you know, we are this is about we are reading about text. She is the one who mentioned something. We are talking about religion, and the coward they make it something different. This is how trashy look as they are. They cannot refute us, they cannot debate us, so they try to make it personal personal and they try to 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 frame you with things. They try to make you have a bad image. You can make bad image as much as you wish. Who care? We are laughing. Everything we do is live on air, you idiot. We are the one who record it, we are the one who post it, and we are the one who spread it. And you coward, you did not dare to post the whole video. If this is a shameful, I challenge Mimi Hijab to take this video and post it in his page. Let people laugh. It's your prophet, he says, a Muslim woman, she can do breastfeeding for adult. As you see, I'm showing the reference. I was saying to her, do you practice this? Your prophet says so, not me. It's not me saying, hey, go, let us go and suckle. I'm asking her, are you willing to do that? Oh, and man. So listen, uh, Tahani, can you do breastfeeding for any friend of yours? When the last time, She's when the last time, sexual. when the last time you did the breastfeeding for an adult in your life? Be honest. What? When the last time you, you want, did? No, when, you want to bring me this what, Egyptian stupidity? What Egyptian? Egyptian stupidity. She is insulting the Egyptian people too. And Mimi Hijab is an Egyptian. Did you see what she, did you hear what she said? This is a, this is a grown adult Somalian woman calling the egyptian stupid and i don't think so maybe she meant hijab and ali dawa <laughs> anyway you can watch the whole videos and later we spoke about muta and you know they cut from the video as they wish but this is we are reading what it says muta according to islam she can rent herself she can rent her private part and actually you see, I read their books. I don't make things up. If I go right now and try to find the definition of muta from Muslim website, not from a Christian website, what I will find? Am I going to find that uh, Islam is uh, it doesn't say that women she rent her panty? What Islam says? Let us see. Here we go. This is Islam, my friend, not me. Alislam.org. This is a Christian Prince website? No. Alislam.org. Okay, what Alislam.org says? Say that Muslim women, she are rented. So if I say to her, are you willing to take, you know, like you, 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 you know, to take off and have sex with somebody for do it, uh, you know, paying you for your panty? I'm just questioning the religion. Musta'jara. In some work, a special term is applied to women to who, who participate in the muta, musta'jara, or rented women. 
Muta is considered as a kind of rental because in general men's basic is the kind of marriage is is the sexual enjoyment of women in return the, of this this enjoyment the women receive certain amount of money property so i said to her your prophet even says you can you can rent yourself and they make it like the christian prince harassing you know, muslim women sexually it's your prophet who is making them sexually for rent and the funny there's a muslim yesterday he he made a post let me find his post. <clears throat> Maybe this one. Yeah. A guy, his name is Al Ikhlas. I think it's a it's a girl too. I don't know. It says <clears throat> Ali told that Ibn Abbas. Anyway, you can read the hadith. She's saying he's saying that uh, 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 the Prophet he forbid muta. The Prophet he forbid muta. But hold on. But who is the one who allowed Muta first? Muhammad. Who is the one who forbid Muta? Muhammad. <laughs> so why he allow it if it's a shame? If you are, if you are saying we don't have it, so you used to have it. You are saying so you are saying Islam used to have Muta, and now you don't have Muta. What happened? Secondly, who said to you that this is true? The Quran. The Quran is saying do Muta, not only the Hadith. Not only the Hadith, and actually. Uh, uh, in the top of that, uh, there is many hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari and others uh, speaking about uh, that Muslims, they practice muta way after Muhammad's death. Actually, let me see if I can find you some of those hadith. <clears throat> Give me a second. You see here we get them busted no mercy you can bring all your garbage you can make all the lies you want but the lies will not work not with us all right All right. Hmm. I'm just trying to find the reference. Give me a second, please. <clears throat> hey guys, don't forget, please, to download the video which I posted in uh, in uh, Patreon. And post it again and post it everywhere because for sure they will try to flag it and they will you know because this is very embarrassing in the video there there's another video included of uh, uh, a Muslim his name is Shamsi and Shamsi is doing his part exposing the Muslims you know they uh, expose each other um, I'm just trying to find it. All right, let's see. <clears throat> sometime, you know, you can find reference so easy, and but sometimes it takes some. All right. All right. Let's let's see those hadith first, and then we will go to the hadith proof that the muta never been forbidden, which is against the hadith he is providing. Which we Muslims they are very confused. All those hadith. Look at this. We did Muta'ama Rasul. And here they are saying this is about the Hajj. So, you know, they can say this is not about 
uh, women. Here we go. And we will find the other hadith or more hadith. We never speak without giving proofs. We don't make things like the Muslims they say, you know, they, this uh, the stupid things which they claim. Um, all right, if we read here, it says that uh, we entered into the state of Ihram and I was Tamatta with the Messenger of Allah when Umar and Israel started caliphate. And verily, Allah, He principal messenger, He like. Uh, okay, and says the Holy Quran. Uh, well, this is translation, is about. Uh, he commanded us the marriage of those women who you perform muta, and any person of you come to me with marriage of appointed uh, duration of muta, I would stone him to death. All right, so the caliphate, you know, supposedly uh, this is the, this is the hadith. But if we go to different hadith, we will see the following. Uh, let us see. First, this is from the Quran, and how you can abrogate the Quran by a statement. Muhammad is abrogating his God statement by a, by hadith, and why he allow it anyway? I'm just trying to find some hadith. Um, actually, I have a long list of them uh, uh, from the tafsir, but I want to show hadith. Let us see. I hate to mention something without uh, without giving proof. So give me just a, a patient. Here we go. All right, let us see. Let us see if we can find this hadith here in English. That would be good. Um, uh, look like this one is not coming. Man, why I cannot find it? <clears throat> Let us see. The problem with this website, you know, it, it doesn't have a good search engine, but uh, I will never let it go. We have to show it. You know, we show reference and they say we are lying. So imagine if we don't show reference. <laughs> you know what I mean? We show reference in the screen with all the proofs you can imagine, and yet they say he is lying. Let us see. Mm -hmm. 
Let us see this one. You see, there's many uh, Arabic, but I wanna I wanna get um, the English one. Okay, hold on. Let us see this one first. Man, this website is horrible. If you don't give the exact exact words, it doesn't show. Mm. Let us see this one. I have tons of them in the front of me. But all are in Arabic. Another one. Hmm. We are not getting lucky. Mm hmm. All right, maybe this one we will find. Let us see. I think this one should be found because I saw it in this website before. Bingo! Finally! Thank God! It, this is this is this is real to happen. Usually, I find things very fast. But it's my fault, you know. I, I cannot save everything I know in my in my bookmark. It's impossible, you know. It's going to take maybe more time to find it in your bookmark from from uh, here. Here we go. Here we go. If the muta was forbidden, and this is Sahih Muslim. If the muta was forbidden in the time of Muhammad, which means Muhammad lifetime, okay. So why here it says the following? And read carefully. Yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this muta, not temporary marriage, which means renting women for sex, during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr and Omar, which means the caliphate Abu Bakr and then Omar and Omar became a caliphate. All of this time we are doing muta. So where is where it's forbidden? Do you see it, guys? I'm going to share the link with you. So next time, if I speak about it, you guys, maybe you can help me. All right. And now the question is, what kind of a prophet? The prophet do muta. Abu Bakr do muta. Omar do muta. And all the Muslim do muta. And what is muta? Renting women. Renting women And you are talking about decency What is the decency How how somebody he have a decency will accept this there's no way 
Uh, decency mean uh, decency whatever I, what I will give definition for decency you know a woman she will she will not uh, actually it's not this is not even we can't even consider I mean prostitution is more honorable and I will tell you why because a prostitute she says she is a prostitute she is honest here they claim that they are holy and they force the women to dress in a certain way. They make, they force her to wake a burqa. If she wore she walk in the street without a guardian, she will be beaten. You know, as they used to do in Saudi Arabia. In the same time, a Muslim woman, she is encouraged and practicing renting herself for a payment. What is the decency? So if you are going in the elevator, you see a Muslim woman, you say to her, oh, how much you charge me for uh, muta? And what the muta? Muta is just a nicer word of the of uh, other word. And not only this, by the way, they use even to give like, uh, uh, I mean, look, look how, how, look how low the society is. You go to a woman and you offer her anything just to have sex with her, including food. And this is usually happened to the poor women, a poor woman who cannot afford buying food. The Muslim man, he will not give the food for free. He will say to her, well, you know, if you want me to give you, uh, you know, money, well, you have to do something for me, honey. This is the religion of God. Do you see it? We contracted muta. This is not marriage. Giving a handle handful of tails or a flower as a dower during the lifetime of Allah Messenger. But this is not a dower, this is a false translation. You know, the Quran says that you have to pay them their wages, ujurahun. Ujurahun, my friend. What kind of religion is and anyone who speak Arabic he can read here we go we do it for a few days like we rent a woman for a few days you promise women some food you give them the food bingo they are in your bed so instead of helping those women for free giving donation obviously they are poor We will not give them donation unless they take off their panty. And now Muhammad Hijab, he will take my uh, uh, statement. He will cut the video. He will say, Christian Prince, say panty. Christian Prince, he says vagina. Christian Prince, he say penis. Well, all your religion is about vagina and penis and panty. What we can do about it. Now, I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. And actually, there is more hadith confirming that they did it even with the present of Muhammad and Muhammad himself, he did it too. Let me see if I can find more hadith. Here we go. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? We did the matto of Hajj and we did the matto of women, Muta. Whereupon this, Jabir said, we used to do this too during the lifetime of Allah Messenger and the Omar then forbid us from doing them. It's not the Prophet who forbid them as you claim. Oh, 
Umar became a prophet now if Allah he allow it in the Quran Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? And this is the link for those who like to save reference. Here we go. Any Muslim have an objection? I will open my Skype. If there is any Muslim would like to call us and we will speak to you nicely, you know, we are not like this uh, uh, garbage trashy uh, hijab and you know his gang And we will not ask you the thing he put in his hand always to buy it before you speak to us I mean this guy each time he want to go and you know He, he put this uh, because he's making money from it buy this guys. This is very good for health guys buy it guys buy it <laughs> Why you don't promote camera you too? <laughs> You can use your urine and tell them that this is a uh, uh, camel urine. How they will know? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? So the dignity they speak about is not exist. Muslim women, if you know, I have like I have thousands of videos about Muslim women speaking to me. You will be disgusted. Right. Now, uh, if we go and uh, see more, do we have any Muslim? I have any question before we move to the second topic. So, as you see, this is the muta. This is what they practice, and this is the garbage they have in their books. And our crime is we are reading their books. Don't read our books. You will offend us. Don't do that, please. A Muslim yesterday he said, Well, I understand, but why you are insulting your prophet or prophet? And you know, the funny is the Muslim look like they're blind. Their prophet he called us pigs, donkeys. Uh all kind of mad stuff, najis, filthy, kuffar. The second we say Muhammad teaching is filthy or insulting the prophet like I said yesterday the stupid prophet so the word stupid is insulting but calling people a human being making no go zoom because a religion or cult teach that because you are not a Muslim you are dirty that is not offending you see the Muslim they speak they say do you know that the white people they used to uh, have no go zoom for black people it's you who do it It's you. It's in the Quran. No go zone. Hmm? Here we go. Ya <laughs> There is a sign in the street in Mecca and Al Medina. Both both cities are not, and they are forbidden for anyone who is not a Muslim to enter. Why? Because we are pagan and clean. The fact you are the one, the pagan is the one. It's you who is the black stone and go around the stone and bow down in front of a stone and bro, pray in the direction of a stone. In the top of that, it's your prophet who taught you that stones will erase your sin. Is that for real? Yes, it is. As you know, I never say something without proofs. Here we go. And don't tell me this hadith is da'if. It's not. What kind of a prophet teach if you are against paganism and you are not a pagan? That it's you should kiss the stone and those stones, if you touch them, they erase your sin. 
two sides of the corners of the Kaaba. The Yemeni corner, which is coming from stones from Yemen, from the from the temple of Al Makkah, which is the moon god temple. Everybody know, knows that. And the black stone, which represent women private part, the fertility black stone. Which in Muslim books it says that this black stone used to be white like milk, but the ministration of women make it black or made it black. And I change any Muslim to say this is not true. Feel free to call me. Right? Anyone there? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Who is a brave, proud Muslim he like to call me, please? Who, if there is Mimi Hijab is listening, he like to call me, I will not mute you. I promise. It doesn't matter what you say. Are you there, brother? Now, we go back to the story of the apostate prophet. You see, always, really, I, I support this uh, gentleman, and I feel how much they, they try to put stress on him. This person, he said it clearly that he have a kind of illness, and he gets stressed so easy, you know? And they are trying their best to stress him as much they can. Evil people. Now, the challenge to Mimi Hijab and his gang, who want to call me live on air, and I will make you read live on air that you can have sexual intercourse with your daughter, not even your sister, according to Islam. Any Mimi? How many of you download the new videos, guys, from, uh, from Patreon? Did you download the video? Don't please forget to download the video and post it everywhere as we speak. Let us get them busted. And by the way, my topic is not this Mimi Hijab. My topic is Islam. But this is showing us because Jesus said that from their fruits, you shall know them. Do we agree? From their fruits, we shall know them. Not from their from their names. You call yourself whatever you want. Your fruit will tell me who you are. What kind of a person he says such a statement? In the front of your eyes. Now, if we go to the Quran, we will find the following: Muhammad Hijab. A challenge for you you idiot because you are the one who brought this to the surface so people will laugh at you I challenge you to read the pages don't don't call me don't call me and I know you are scared you're afraid I challenge you you and the Ali Dawa with the, the guy with the half tongue to read the pages I'm going to put in the screen and to prove me that I am lying and I challenge any Muslim to call me right now and prove the Christian prince is lying in Quran and in the interpretation. Nobody teach sex with family members. Challenge. And let us not to waste our time. Enough Mimi and Cuckoo and Fifi and Susu. Let us go to business. We will start with this. Uh, all right. You see, 
uh, I have it in, uh, in Arabic, but no problem because what we can do, we can use uh, uh, private Google translation. You know, private Google translation. It work. It will do the job. You know what I mean? Let us do that. Hold on. Give me a second. We will read it in Arabic and we will tr use Google Translation, automatic Google Translation. So the Mohammedan, they will not say, oh, he is giving a false translation. The same as we did yesterday, the guy, he said uh, uh, in the Quran, he said, uh, he didn't know how to read it. He lied in the translation. It doesn't say they took their monks and rabbis as, as God instead of Allah and, and, and the Messiah. It doesn't say that. Now, look at this. This is a chapter 33. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm going to post the link even though it's in Arabic. All right. Even though it's in Arabic. So you guys can copy and open it in your or open it in your browser and you can uh, do the Google translation from your side just to be sure that this is not me okay maybe there's a trick or something this is the official government of Saudi Arabia the Ministry of Islam which consider an official website for the for the education of Saudi Arabia this is Tafsir al qurtubi Chapter number 33, verse number 37. And let us see here what it says. The verse is speaking about Muhammad and Zainab. Let us see first the, the verse in English. In the Muslim translation, you know, the Muslim translation will show us that. Chapter 33, verse number 37, it's about what? The Quran says that when the man, his name is Zaid, which is the son of Muhammad by adoption. The son of Muhammad by adoption. He came to Muhammad and he told him, I want to divorce my wife. Muhammad said to him, why why keep your wife man keep your wife don't do that don't do that Allah said to Muhammad why you say to him keep your wife but you hide what is in your heart which Allah was about to make manifest to you what does that mean Allah told Muhammad I will make you have this woman in your bed According to Muslims explanation And he's saying to you he's saying to Muhammad you are afraid to say what is in your heart that you love this woman You want to sleep with her because it's not more fitting that what You're afraid of from the people, you know You are afraid to manifest what is in your heart Because you fear people and we know that this verse is made by Muhammad just to give himself an excuse. The people, they are talking about him. He is going to the house of the man uh, and obviously he's sleeping with her. And Muhammad, he told the husband, the husband he heard and we will show you the story from their Islamic books. From Al-Qurtubi and from other interpretation. So Muhammad, he heard, you know, he, he, he flirted with the women and he sleep with the women and people start talking about it. And Muhammad, he want now to make it officially that she have to come to his house. And he told them, Allah told me, why you don't say that Allah told you that she will be yours? It's not my fault. Allah, he wanted to give it to me. What's wrong with you? It's not me who want to sleep with her. And okay, what's, what is the business of Allah? He wanted Muhammad to have this woman as a wife. The Muslim, they say to you, oh Allah, he wanted to show that uh, adoption is forbidden. But you have a verse in the Quran says adoption is forbidden already. You do not need to sleep with the wife of, of the guy. <laughs> and, 
and he is your son now you adopted him this is your daughter-in-law there's tons of hadith it says that everybody knows that Zaid is a son of Muhammad Muhammad himself he says everyone should know that Muhammad Abba Zaid and Zaid Ibn Muhammad that Muhammad is the father of Zaid and Zaid is the son of Muhammad from now on everybody should know and what Muhammad he did we go to Al Qurtubi and I'm using other uh, uh, like uh, uh, Google browser browser because the translation will not work in other browsers so you know take a note about that if you open it with different browser will not work you have to use Google browser so you can click at the translation now here the story start talking about Muhammad adopting Zaid what happened now who was a real and Muhammad, why, why Muhammad, by the way, he adopted this? Uh, it was Khadija idea because Muhammad, he cannot have kids. So he did adopt him when he was a very young child. And then Allah, he sent an ayah saying, فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَىٰ أَدْعُوهُمْ لِأَبَائِهِمْ هُوَ أَقْصَطُ عِنْدَ اللَّهُ Don't call them by adoption, call them by their real father. And then the story continue. Read carefully for those who speak Arabic. And by the way, my Skype is open. Any Muslim would like to call me live on air, you are more than welcome. And please don't call me if you are a Christian. Don't text me unless it's necessary. All right. I mean in Skype. You see, my I open my Skype to the to the Muslims. When Muhammad he did like Zainab, uh, which means he flirted with her, Zainab she said, "Qalat Zainab, amsa Zaidun fa'awa ila firashihi." Qalat Zainab, "Walam yastatani Zaid, wa mam tana' minhu ghair ma manahu Allahu minni." Translation: Zaid, my husband, he wanted to go to the bed with me. You know, we not have sex. Zainab she said, but he could not do it and nothing forbidden him from doing it except Allah He made him not able to do it. So his private part was not able to function This is in your book the woman she is married and She is married to the son of Muhammad and Muhammad now is a flirting and dating this woman and Because Muhammad is dating this woman Allah He will not make the private part of the husband work because that's it the woman is reserved for Muhammad and not only that, if we go down, it says in the Zaydan, and some of the stories report says, and the Zaydan minhu hina arada an yaqrabuha. That Zayd, his private part swell. Swell. Allah, he made his penis swell, excuse my language. When he tried to get close to her. Is that a Christian Prince statement? I will, I will, I will click in the in the English after, you know, so people will see the translation. And if we go down, and here it says that uh, Muhammad he told the guy, "Keep your wife, man, keep your wife." But he is flirting with the women; he is sleeping with her already. And look what it says in their books. قال مقاتل زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم زينب بنت جحش من زيد فمكثت عنده حينا who is the one who did marry Zayd to Zainab? Muhammad Muhammad obviously at that moment he cannot marry Zainab for some reasons so he said to himself let me marry her to my son so I can get into her bed anytime ثم أنه Alayhi salam, so Allah, a peace on him. You see here, this, the Muslims, they say that Muhammad says, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mean Allah uh, uh, bless him or peace upon him. It doesn't say that. You see here, it's correctly. He says, Alayhi salam, Alayhi salam, peace on him. This is the peace on him, not the one Sallallahu alayhi wa Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as Mimi Hijab, he says, he pray for, not to. So, Atta Zayd and Yatlubu, he came to Zayd seeking him. فأبصر زينب قائمة. so he saw زينب and she was standing. 
and she was white, beautiful, and big. You see, in the old days, maybe some people do not know that we have entered now Bedouin songs, uh, which is saying that she is so beautiful to the point a camel could not carry her. I was a kid, I remember, and this song is like, I don't know what it's mean. I mean, why, if she is so beautiful, why the camel could not carry her? In the old days, the woman, if she is skinny, nobody will marry her. That means she is sick. That means there's something wrong with her. Disgusting. She is not beautiful, and she is not powerful, and she will not give good, good babies. So men only, they marry big women. And you know what the word big mean. I'm not going to explain it to you. So he saw her, and they, now they are describing how beautiful she is. She is not only white. She is not only beautiful. She is big and beautiful and white. She was from the most perfect women of Quraysh. Uh, now we know what happened. Why Muhammad, he married this woman to this man. So he fell in love with her. Imagine the prophet falling in love with married women. The Muslim, they said to you, do you know what David did? Yeah, what he David did? David, he sent a, a husband of a wife uh, to war. Yeah, we know that. And he asked God for forgiveness and David commit a crime. And when David, he wanted to build a temple, God, he said to him, your hand is covered by blood. We don't, want your, I don't want your temple. And David was crying for God, asking for forgiveness. Here is the opposite. Fahawiha, the prophet of Allah, he is in love now with married women and she is married to his own son. Any Mimi hijab in the, in the bushes would like to call me and get me busted? Do he there? And he said to her with loud voice, look how filthy he is. Not only he like her like he is, you know, taking a peek at her body. Hmm? No, he said to her loud, Subhanallah, muqallibul qulub. He flirting with the married women. And the filthy Mimi Hijab saying that the Christian prince talking to a Muslim woman, he was sexually harassing her. The sexual harassment in front of you, you coward. I don't flirt with them. And I will never marry a Muslim woman. Because you Muslim don't consider marriage as marriage. It's just contract. I have to pay her. She go to my bed. This is the whole point. We don't do that. And you're a prophet. He made it clear. Even you Muslim, you claim that you have something called temporary marriage. And if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will find that how many marriages the Muslims they have. They have something called trouble marriage. Trouble marriage, yes. In case instead of taking a laptop with you, you can take temporarily a woman as a wife for the time you will stay in that city. Like let us say, you are a person going from San Francisco to Los Angeles. According to Islam, it is halal to marry. Let's say you want to stay there for seven days. It is halal to marry a woman for seven days. It's marriage. And she agree. And you pay her. So the Muslim Sunnis, they say now, we don't do muta, but they do travel marriage. They do zawaj a friend. What is zawaj a friend? It's called zawaj a friend, like boy, boyfriend, girlfriend. A man and a woman, they want to have sex. They go and they sign a contract and they meet once every while in the hotel room. They don't even have a house. It's called zawaj a friend. Friend marriage. Like friend with benefit. If I am lying, get me busted. They have something called Zawaj al Urfi, which is not even marriage. Anyway, let's go back to the topic. So Zainab, she heard Muhammad praising her. So she mentioned that to Zaid. So Zaid. Fatina Zaid. Fatina, you know what Fatina means in Arabic? Like, bingo, I got it. Muhammad, he want, and he's sleeping with my wife. And obviously this, I don't want to say the word. She is telling me because she want me to do something. What the thing I would do, what I would do. So Zaid, he went to Muhammad. He said to him, please let me divorce her. You see, Muhammad is in control of Zaid. Why Muhammad? Why Zaid need to ask the prophet to let him divorce her? He's a man. He as a Muslim, he can divorce his wife. This is his right. What the prophet had, because his, the prophet is his father. 
so do you see the filthy relationship here the boy is going to his father saying father let me divorce this girl why because his wife she told him that your father was here and he flirted with me now let us see a translation and here after it says uh, and it says that Allah Allah he sent wind and the curtain was left and the prophet he saw Zainab and she was almost naked in her house mutafaddila she is wearing like you know fara zainab fawaqa'at fi nafsi so he saw Zainab so he wanted her وَوَقَعَ فِي نَفْسِ زَيْنَبْ أَنَّهَا وَقَعَتْ فِي نَفْسِ النَّبِي And the Zainab, she understand, she understood that the Prophet, he wanted her now. So she told her husband. Now, let us do this because Muslim, they might say, oh, you don't know Arabic, this guy is lying to you. What about we do Prophet Google translation? I mean, Google translation is a stupid, right? But still, you know, we will get it. We will get it. Okay. Google translation piece upon him. It said that God sent the wind and lifted the curtain, not the jacket. And Zainab, she was in her uh, home. And the prophet, he saw Zainab and he assigned her to himself. This is the Google translation, you know, just excuse the. You see it? Do you see it? And he and she knew that the prophet he assigned her to him, which means he chose her. That's it, he want to take her. And then when Zaid came and she told him that the prophet he want me, then Zaid he went and he said, I want to divorce her. Now, if we go back a little bit from the beginning of the translation, you will see. Uh, here we go. So uh, the prophet he came to to Zaid and uh, uh, to the house of Zainab went to Jahish and in in his house and then when he came to Zaid to seek him he saw Zainab standing and she was a beautiful and big not a grave the most complete women of Quraysh perfect women so the prophet he said hallelujah this is, the, this is the Google translation, not me. Hallelujah, my heart, my heart. <laughs> Christian prince doing sexual harassment to almost a woman. You're a prophet, you filthy liar. Going to his own son house, Taking advantage of him being a father because this is why he's inside the house with the woman alone. You see, why Muhammad is going to Zaid? Because Zaid is the son of Muhammad. And why the women she allow her the, uh, Muhammad to see her? Because she is his daughter, a daughter by in law. And now Muhammad is a flirting, and this is the Muslim statement. I assure you, Muhammad is sleeping with this woman already. And Muhammad saying, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart to flip for you. You know, I cannot really uh, explain to you that, that moment. It's hard. It's really hard to describe such a moment in the life of the Prophet. Any Muslim can explain to us. So you are saying to the apostate prophet that he don't mind uh, uh, lying about the guy. He don't mind to have incest. When this is incest. This is incest. This is the woman she is. And, and this moment, until this moment, Muhammad still was the father of Zaid. And Zaid is a son of Muhammad. 
until this moment this woman is married to Zaid forget about him being being even forget about Zaid being adopted or not she is a married woman and Muhammad is a prophet of God taking advantage go into the house of the husband when the husband is not home going inside the house and flirting with the wife what kind of a prophet he is my heart my heart is beating for you what kind of beat prophet which one and they are giving us a speeches about the prophet Who is the most honorable man? Is that kind of a comedy something? <laughs> the prophet, his heart just to break a crush. Did you hear it? This is why the prophet, he saw uh, Zainab and he could not uh, take it. So like he flipped. One more. Uh -huh. What about this one? <laughs> what is this? This is a prophet of God? Is If this is a prophet of God, who is the devil? All right. If this is a prophet of God, who is the devil? And the funny, let me see where it says that uh, Allah, he made his private part as well. Uh, where we can find that thing. Yeah, and Zainab, she is relative to him. You are right. She is supposed to like a cousin for him. Uh, but let's see where where, uh, where it says uh, Allah, he made his uh, his a private, a private part as well. <clears throat> Anyone see it? Ah, here we go. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, you see the translation is not coming uh, correctly. So she said uh, that Zaid, he wanted to come to me in the bed to have sex with her. And Zainab, she said, but he could not do it. Zaid could not do it. And what refrained him from me, only nothing refrained him except by God. He was not able to do so. Imagine, imagine how filthy this story is. A married woman, she is saying that my husband, after the prophet, he flirted with me. Because that's it, I'm reserved for him now. Imagine how 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 trashy she is, saying that each time my husband he tried to have boom boom with me, he could not do it because Allah he reserved it. That's it. And here it says, look, and in uh, and Zaid each time he tried to get close to her, Allah he make his penis swell. Do you see it? This is Google translation. Because some people might say Christian Prince is making things up and this is you can do it in the browser I gave you. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The daughter-in-law of Muhammad saying that Allah, he wanted Muhammad to sleep with her. Muhammad, he came to her house. He flirted with her. Allah, he sent wind to lift the curtain so Muhammad can see her naked. Muhammad, he flirted with the wife and he said to her, my heart, my heart is beating for you. I really, really want you. Can you give yourself to me? Otherwise, I will beat you. The wife, she's a proud. 
She said, my husband since then. It's a miracle of Allah, guys. You say, Muhammad, don't have a miracle. Here we go. The penis of, of the husband is swell because Muhammad, he liked the wife of the husband. And you are telling us that Muhammad have no, pro have, have no miracles? Even the miracles of Muhammad is about his penis or penis. And then, and then Hamimi Hijab, he will cut my video, says, Christian Prince says penis. When I talk about Islam, there's nothing said penis. Vagina, ass, breast, nipples. Isn't it your prophet? He said in the heaven you will have 70 years orgasm. So what do you want me to say? And isn't it you Muslims are proud? You see, when the Muslim they write this in their books because they are proud about the prophet. Allah, brother, Allah, he made the husband penis as well. It's a proof that Muhammad is a prophet. Otherwise, you need to explain to me. Why the husband each time he get close to the wife to have sex with her Allah he make his penis as well explain to me here we go I'm listening I'm listening if Muhammad is not a prophet who is the one making the penis as well somebody is doing it do we have any Muslim And Zainab, she was white and big and beautiful, very heavy duty women. Now, are we done? We are not. We are not. We just started. Now, we will go to the second topic about having sex with your daughter. Muhammad already he did. He took Zainab and he made her officially as a wife, by the way. Muhammad, he married Zainab without marriage. I challenge any Muslim to say to me, you are a liar, including all those who claim to have knowledge, which none of them have knowledge. Muhammad has no wedding ceremony. He did not pay her dowry, and he have no witnesses. When Zainab, she said to him, where is the witnesses? He said, Allah and Jibreel. So if a man, he sleep with the women, And she asked him, "What shouldn't we get married first? Shouldn't we have legal witnesses too? The man he shall say, Allah and Jibreel. Is my witnesses. Guys, anyone will send me a post from Muslims in Twitter, etc. Don't send me those stupid things. Either you wanna, you know, forget about this guy. Don't send me anything about this Mimi Hijab. Just we are done. He's just a kid, and we got him busted already. Anyone will send me anything, I will block you. Don't don't send me those things. You see, hit the head of the snake. It's Muhammad. That is what this is what hurt most. Who is Mimi and Fifi and Susu? We don't care for those. Hit the head of the snake. This is the head of the snake. Don't waste your time. Actually, they try to distract you so you will speak about things that have nothing to do with Islam. So you will talk about Mimi and Fifi and Susu. No, no, I will not do that. My focus in the cult of Muhammad. Now, let us show you after he said and he claimed. The reason I'm just showing you what he said because we will use it for the topic. Otherwise, he don't count for me. And sooner or later, they will be gutted, busted themselves by the Muslim. Just wait. Actually, I just made a video made by uh, a guy. His name is Shamsi. Speaking about the scandals around this man. Not my words. So look here, this man, he's insulting the apostate prophet who is a very nice gentleman, trying to humiliate him. And, you know, the, uh, you know, making false stupid statement about a person for no reason, just because this guy, you know, he's exposing this guy. Now, let us see, is it a true Mimi hijab? And I challenge all the Mimi in the world. It's starting with Mimi the prophet. Is it true that according to Islam, you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery, which means she is your your daughter, 
by blood you had sex with the mother and the mother she carry a child from you is it true and again I change any Muslim to say this is not true is it true my friend that you can have sex with your daughter this is Tafsir al-Qur'an, Tafsir al-Qur'an, chapter 25, verse number 40, 54. What does that mean? Let us see. Now I want to say something. Let us see and laugh at such, such a disgusting cult. Allowing a man to have sex with his own daughter because Islam allow only someone to be called son or daughter if it's only from a legal marriage, even if it's muta for one night stand. If it's not, you can have sex with your daughter. Look at here it says. The scholars they disagree about if it's okay or not to okay to have sex with your daughter. Is that in your website, Muslims? Yes. Or his sister. Or what? Or sister. There is many Islamic sect until now they have no problem with having sex with the sister and having sex with the daughter. This is why they say there's a disagreement about it if it's okay or not. So some they agree, some they don't. Is that my false statement? Let us see. I will use Google translation. Here we go. Let us see. <clears throat> what is the scholars? Hmm. Hmm, this translation is confusing. Okay. All right. Uh, Where is where it says the scholars they disagree or they differ? Hmm. Here we go. Uh, saying of our scholar that uh, uh, oh, this is not this is this is later. We want to read later. Where is the one before it? Um, where it disappear? It should be. Hold on, give me a second. All right, we were reading here. The scholars they differ of the marriage of a man. This is this Google translation of his daughter of adultery or his sister or daughter of adultery. Do you see it? This is a stupid Google translation. Do you see it? Now I want the Muslim to tell me what kind of a cult that the scholars are negotiating. Can we have sex with our sister or with our daughter? So when this cowardly man, he is saying that to uh, uh, the apostate prophet, it was him and his prophet practicing that. And then now the Muslims, they have many sect, they have no problem. And actually there's some scholars, they say there's no penalty for having sex with your mother and no penalty for having sex with your daughter. Lahad. And maybe we should make another video about it. And if you go up a little bit, you will see here it says in Arabic, 
ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله. And I change the Muslim to say I'm lying. It is not under Allah saying. Allah He said in the Quran, it's forbidden for you, your your mother and your daughters. But in this case, no. Because of that, it's not under Allah's statement. It's forbidden for you, your mothers and your daughters, because she's a daughter from adultery. لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين because she is not considered as a daughter to him according to Islam and the most accurate opinion of Islam that a daughter from adultery she is not a daughter so it's not forbidden for him to have sex with her وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صهر شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا بنت Bint you um wala um bint. So it's not forbidden to have sexual intercourse with a to do a fornication. Actually, it says the word fornication, zina. It's not forbidden to do fornication with the daughter and her mother. And if we go to the English translation here, let us see. <clears throat> Ibn al Arabi he said, uh, That Allah He created the human being from mixing between the male and female water. Okay, according to the Sharia. Uh, translation here is kind of uh, you know funny. Uh, anyway, it says, therefore, this is, does not enter as Allah saying. Uh, we told you that the Quran says it's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter, right? Because his daughter from adultery, she is not from a healthy marriage from a real marriage and this is the most accurate opinion of the scholars not healthiest it says healthiest according to the religion so the more according to the most religion of islam accurate opinion that she is not considered as his daughter so she is not considered to him a daughter by by law you know and this is why it is not forbidden to do adultery with the daughter of the mother or the daughter. Do you see it? This is in the stupid Google translation. Now, who is a Muslim when I get me busted? Who is a Muslim when I call me live on air and get me busted? Says I'm lying. Any Muslim, you are more than welcome. The funny they say Christian Prince is lying to you, those liars, yet they don't dare to call me. Look how look how quiet they are. Do you see how quiet? Very quiet. Christian Prince, he made them quiet. So what we learn from this sentence now? That Islam teach Muslims that you can rent women. And yes, this is your Muslim website. And it is you, Muslims, in your text, in your own definition. You give us the word what the word muta mean? Do you see it? Muta means sexual pleasure. All right. And the Quran says that when you enjoy yet, enjoy their vagina, you have to give them their wages. Chapter 4, verse 24. Is that my website? No. Is that a Christian website, a Jewish website, a Hindu website? No. Do you see it? And then they continue. And they give us more definition about what is the muta. Muta is considered as a kind of rental. In some work, a special terms is applied to women who participate in the muta, mustajara, or rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental. Do you see it? 
because general of the man basic aim of this kind of marriage they call it marriage the funny is sexual enjoyment so what is the purpose of this relationship sexual it's obviously i mean why why a man he uh, hire a prostitute sexual enjoyment there's no love it's a lust is that correct the purpose of this and the the funny and the disgusting about this cult they call it marriage they consider that this is marriage they claim that this is marriage and yet they give us definition that this marriage is nothing but renting a woman a rented woman any comment you belong to a religion teaching you that your sister your mother and I'm not I'm not insulting your sister or your mother I do not know them they are rented women where is the devil then if this is not the devil teaching where is the devil teaching how it can be more devilish than this and how you claim that you are a person who worship the same God of Jesus you claim that Jesus is a Muslim prophet and Allah is the same God of Jesus okay why the God of Jesus as you claim teaching this well Jesus said if you know like if you commit sin it's better for you to take your eye pluck it out what is this this is what Jesus taught you can go and rent women and to make it more funny the Muslim they say well this is was allowed by the Prophet in a certain time and some of them they say to you hey, brother they used to go in water brother okay hold on hold on now we have millions of soldiers in Islamic countries why okay so if the muta was for soldiers then the muta should be existent enough for soldiers correct <coughs> How many USA troops are stated abroad, far away from their wives? 600,000? According to Islam, they can rent women. And this is halal, if they are Muslims. War still exists. Are we out of war? No, there's war in Syria, there's war in Iraq, there's war in Libya, there's war everywhere. So we do muta. When Saddam Hussein he attacked Kuwait, USA sent two hundred thousand American troops. So according to you, Muslims, the two thousand American Marines, two hundred thousands, they should have sex and rent Muslim women in the Middle East. This is what you are saying to us. Since when a prophet of God he teach fornication is halal, it's, it's lawful, it's from God. And not only that, this is God saying that according to Muhammad, not only him. They make even a verse about it in the Quran, as you see. For appointed wages. And now there's conditions for this muta. There's a formula. The woman she have to repeat certain words after the guy and the guy have to say certain words and then uh, 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 they have to agree in the terms and conditions of the money and the time the time the period the muddah the Arabic word muddah in Arabic mean time so they have to agree it's a must to say I'm going to have sex with you for the coming 40 minutes read carefully with me read carefully with me this is not me saying that and the Imam was on, once asked if it's possible to conclude the contract of muta for one or two hours. He replied, no time limit understood from one or two, which means you can do it one hour, two hours. It's up to you. This is your, this is your decision. You can rent a woman for one hour. So what we learned, we learned that Islam has no dignity. The Prophet himself have sex with his own daughter.
in the top of flirting with the women when she is married in her house proven by the in the Quran and proven in the hadith proven in Islamic website and we show you the reference and then we show you in chapter 25 verse number 54 it says that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery and this is in the interpretation of Al-Qurtubi anyone can go right now and open Al-Qurtubi and can see by yourself and then we show you that Islam, Islamic interpretation that you can rent a Muslim woman for one hour stand or even 15 minutes, there's no time. You are, are you going in the elevator? You go in the elevator, you see a, a, a Muslim decent woman, Muslim woman decent. You have to be decent, by the way, because this is a decent behavior. You say to her, I want to do muta with you, sexual intercourse for money. How much you charge me? So then she's, she have to repeat. You know, there's a sentence you have to repeat. I give you myself, she agree. He says, I want you to, etc. money, you know, and then she and etc. Time and then she have to repeat says I agree with you for a certain money and certain time, and the second they agree they can go to bed. <coughs> Anyone? <laughs> so we do not know. Uh, uh, you know, what allegation? Hey, this is a kid. You know, the biggest scholars they cannot debate us, and you are telling me about this. Who's this kid? Yeah, this is not even what they don't even know how to, to say two words. All of you are a bunch of kids. You can refute me only in your channel. Nobody dare to call me. And by the way, I think this is you are. You are the one, right? Because he tried to promote himself. Oh, the little ones they say, Well, you don't debate this guy, and supposedly people wonder, like, who is this guy? <laughs> Just yesterday, we called your big baba, and your big baba, he did not even dare to speak to me. He stood away from, from, from the computer more than 10 meters away. So nobody can hear me, and he don't dare to speak to me directly. Fear. Fear in the atmosphere. That is the truth, my friend. Now, who is the brave Muslim when I call me? Anyone? <clears throat> the fear is big. We have to admit. <clears throat> The book in the front of us, the reference in the front of us, but the Muslim is not here. What do you say? Why the Muslim is missing in the story? Okay, well, you say we should call. Why you don't call? You are already finished, uh, Hussein. You Muslim, you finish me always. How you finish me, Mr. Hussein? Can you tell us, brother, how you did this finishing? Because I don't know, we are laughing here about, about the finishing stuff. You Muslim, you finish everybody. <clears throat> uh, oh, maybe you are talking about this video here. Your brother, he says that I was doing sexual harassment to Muslim women, decent women. My friend, she was doing that to me, not, not the opposite. Your sister, here we go. Listen carefully and love. In case anything, show me where, why, you why you're a prophet, you why you're a prophet, the pagan prophet, you why you're a pagan person. prophet, kiss a stone. Your prophet no, is a pagan man. Why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Why? You know, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia, I live in Africa. You know, you know where, you know, where, you know, you know what, you know what? Why you kiss, why you're a prophet, kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Oh, did you kiss a stone no, or not? Did you, did you do you kiss who a stone? Created, who, who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, kiss. You must kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually worse actually ah, he play with his so mother boobs tell me why he's doing he, that he play with his mother what? Boobs? you must be okay you see, you see guys you see
You see the stupid hijab, the coward. He edited the video. It was the filthy Muslim. She is the one who said that Jesus, Isa, the prophet of Allah, was sexually harassing his mother. Your coward hijab, he cut the video. He play with it because he's a coward like your prophet, potato. This is the original video. I was asking her about kissing a stone. Nothing have to do with sex. But because she is a filthy woman, the sister of Mimi Hijab, and she is a very, very disgusting person, she said that Isa, your prophet brother, was playing with his mother boobs. It's in the front of you. Listen, listen again, brother. Decent Muslim women. He's harassing decent Muslim women. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you Muslims, <laughs> no, kiss, you, you Muslims kiss his stones, right? Why, why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Mm. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? You, to boobs? you must be okay. You see, you see, guys, you see, guys, you see, he's doing muta. He's a guy. Did you hear what she said? And the filthy hijab, this is telling us how filthy trashy they are. They should be ashamed of this video. They cut the video, they put the word panty. Well, I ask her, your prophet, he says, you can take off your panty and get paid. <laughs> it's your prophet saying that, Muta, we, we just show it in the screen. She is the one who mentioned, and she is the one who speak in such a language. So I was responding to her, you coward. What is the guy who said you are finished? By the way, do you know how finished I am? I get thousands of subscribers since yesterday. This is how much finished I am. Are you there, Muhammadan? Not only I got thousands of subscribers, I got a lot of donation. I want you to finish me every day. You see, I'm not like Mimi Hijab. Each time he go in the video, buy this, buy this. He have something in his hand. He can buy it, buy it. It's very healthy. You know, making money from the stupid food. Donate for us, brother. We are going to burn the or orphan. Where? Where? Where is the orphan? A picture in the, of, a, of a drawing. And I just posted a video of some Samsi, Samsi, you know, the guy with the, with the, with the one who lost his uh, teeth, is getting hijab busted with the sex scandal and money scandal. Who is the one who's finished? And this is your sister finishing hijab forever, lying about me, speaking to her. I said to her, then, well, your prophet, he says, you can suckle me. They cut the video. No, you you must have kissed his stones, right? Why, why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more, actually. Worse, actually, ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother. What? Boobs? You must be okay. You see, you see, guys, you see, guys, you see, guys, you see how you see how savage they are. Look what she said. Oh, no, look what she said. Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, okay, show me, show me, okay, show me a verse, show me a verse, show me a verse saying that Jesus he played with his mother. Show me his verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he play. Listen, listen, you are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he play with his mother boobs, right? Okay, you, you listen, you are a liar, number one. Number two, it's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Then. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle? Can I? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Listen, 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 listen. According to Islam, according to Islam, your boobs is lawful for me. Can I suckle you? Listen. As long as you are talking about boobs and you are a savage, low class person, why you're a prophet? Let's let us read together. Let us read together. Sahla bin to Suhail. Sahla bin to Suhail. Let me let me let me, let me mute. You know. Let me let me mute you. You are you are so dumb. Listen, guys, look at this. Sahla bin to Suhail came to the messenger of Allah, and said, "I see a displeasure in the face of Abu Hudayfa. When Salim enters upon me, the messenger he said, breastfeed him. She said, how I can breastfeed him? And he is a growing man." <laughs> 
The Prophet he said, I know he's a growing man. So listen, uh, Tahani, can you do breastfeeding for any friend of yours? When the last time, when the last time, when the last time you did the breastfeeding for an adult in your life? Be honest. When the last time you did? No, you want to bring me this Egyptians to be ready? What did you see what she said about you, Muhammad Hijab? She's saying that Egyptians are stupid, not me. This is your sister, the one you are saying I harass her. She is not only insulting Jesus, speaking filthy language, she is racist. She's what? She is racist. She consider it stupidity is Egyptian, and Egyptians are stupid. She is saying that, not me. Did you hear it? So the liar, he cut the video pieces, and he took words, and he put them together, and he opened his mouth, brother, did you see what? Brother, 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 we got your busted hijab, and everybody is laughing at you. And you see, because I don't have people who support me, I have a thousand people watching. I mean, how disgusting it is. And then we spoke about the muta, uh, brother. It was a nice uh, discussion, by the way. <laughs> and then she challenged me to show her the reference. I showed her, and then she said, "I think she don't uh, she don't mind, as long as the prophet he says so." Coward and liar! Shame on you to fabricate stories are not there when that the fact it is the opposite. And let me ask you: If you Muslims you claim that you respect Jesus. And your sister, and don't tell me hijab, you did not hear the video. Don't tell me, please, because you played with it. You cut it pieces. So don't tell me that you did not hear your sister saying, and she is the one who opened this topic about boobs. You did not hear her saying that Jesus, he played with his mother boob and he was a man. Shouldn't you be offended, you coward? Hmm? You should be attacking her. You should be, if you are a decent Muslim, you should be saying to her, shame on you. I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to, to bring this. Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where, you, show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no. Show me, show me. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, like I don't kiss anything. Show me where, why you're a prophet, why you're a prophet, the pagan prophet, why your pagan prophet kiss a stone. Your prophet is a pagan man. Why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Why? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia, I live in Africa. You know, you know where, you know, you know, you know what, you know what? Why you kiss, why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. So, some sometimes Muslim uh, people they say to me, "Why you keep repeating the same question?" Because they will not answer. You have to insist. You have to force it. Like when I called the uh, Mimi, I said to him, "Why you did not say Inshallah?" Because they will not answer it. And Christians do not understand that you know, in order to get an answer, you have to insist and to be consistent. Because this is what the point. They will not answer it because it's embarrassing. The second they avoid the answer, it means it's embarrassing. And some Christians, they are they don't know what they are talking about. They think, okay, why you are calling him and right? Are you asking him about because he's a Muslim? He claimed to be a Muslim, practicing Muslim, yet he don't say, inshallah, this is a big deal in Islam, and every Muslim will laugh at him about this. And from now on, uh, he will never say anything without saying, inshallah, if he's a smart. So this is what the Muslim woman she said. Did, did you kiss a stone or not? Did you, did you, did you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, kiss. No, you no, must no. kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed the stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually. Worse, actually, ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? You, to boobs? you must be okay. You see, you see, guys, you see, guys, you see, guys, you see how you see. he is a guy. She did not say he was a child. He is a guy, and he play with his mother boobs. <laughs> and this is what hijab he wanna use against me. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm finished. Who is next when I finish me? Who is a Muslim like because obviously it's not finished. I'm live on air and I have many you and guys, do you know how many people that download my videos? A Muslim, by the way, yesterday he said, Why you took down the debate? I did not take it down, you coward. It's all over the internet. Every time I go live on air, everybody knows I keep my videos for a few hours and then we take it off. And the video in front of you is one of them. All my videos, this is why my, my channel, I should have like a, a, you know tens of thousands of videos by now. I don't keep videos in this account, everybody knows. But it is live on air everywhere. Just search for the title and you will find the video or you can go to my patreon and you click at the link and you will see the updated link we have the video everywhere and thousands of people watching it and dying laughing at the mimi and his gang are running away from me like rats the second you see they are lions when they are alone in the screen here we go christian prince is in front of you why did they not debate me read read for us read for us this verse i mean this is this is silly read, read for us you just played my voice reading it, you idiot. Why are you asking me to read it? What this is really good. Read it, read it for a bunch of kids. They are terrified. And look what they did. They have a bunch of video. They, they edited them and they put them. And this is supposedly the debate. They play the video. They say to me, talk. I start talking. They mute me. And anyway, nobody can hear me. The, 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 micro, the microphone far away from the speaker in purpose. They did it in purpose. And supposedly this is a live debate with the christian prince and even though they did all what they did we were victorious and we finished them he mentioned the breastfeeding i said life on air and the muslims hear it even they try to mute me what kind of a prophet he says muslim women she can't do breastfeeding for adult he did not answer what kind of a prophet he allow muta and then they said, okay, let us ask him about something else. And he got, he keep jumping from topic to topic because they are afraid. They don't want to talk about any topic. Okay, uh, give me, uh, you said that uh, 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 chapter uh, 36 verse uh, 14 is about, about, about Jesus uh, uh, Poulos. Uh, show me the reference. Uh, you have 20 seconds. 20 seconds? 20 seconds? Mimi Hijab, you will need more time to take off your pant. To fix it with the trouser because you are shrinking. 20 seconds, they give me 20 seconds, give us the reference. I mean, do you see how scared they are? 20 seconds. <laughs> I give you 20 years to debate me, you coward. You will never do it. And in a, in less than 10 seconds, I get him the reference and get him busted. And they start saying, uh, uh, who is the narration? What narration? Uh, who is the narration? You idiot. This is a Nikathi. What narration, you donkey? What narration, you potato? I say Ibn Kathir, the book of Qisas al Anbiya, page number four, etc. This is what it says. I read it for them. And the funny, they say to me, I don't know how to read Arabic. How come they understood what I am saying, reading in Arabic? <clears throat> you need the reference I showed him I have a lot of reference but he did not let me talk you see I have tons of books this is one of them I said okay let's start this topic no problem well, is it one reference I have in this reference but we can show you some reference no problem here we go here we go This is the book of Qisas al Anbiya by Ibn Kathir, page number 404. Zoom in, zoom in, Muhammad, and zoom in, brother. This is the page number in Arabic 404. And this is the story. <laughs> Uh, in the front of your eyes. 
who is a Muslim when I call and read it? Does it say that Jesus, he made Paul blind because he was a disbeliever? And then Paul, he repented to Jesus and he asked him to give him his sight again so he can see. And Paul, he repented and Jesus, he healed him. And then he became a good believer. And this is the book of Ibn Kathir, page number 404, Qisas al-Anbiya, the stories of the Prophet. Uh, Tim Field, you want to call me? No problem, Mr. Tim. Give us your Skype, my friend. <coughs> well, I can't post it, but this is a this is Google book. It's very long. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to work. Uh, maybe, maybe we can shorten the link. You see, this is very long. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Kareem, brother. Yes, sir, Mirza, how are you? One, one second, let me open the voice uh, clear. Uh, do you hear me, brother? I hear you. So I got a question for you, brother. <clears throat> so do, uh, who do you think Paul is? Who is Paul according to you? Who is what? Who is Paul? Who is Paul? He's a messenger. Yeah, in your view. A messenger. Who do you think Paul is? A messenger is? of Jesus. A, me a messenger disciple, of Jesus or God? A disciple and the messenger of Jesus, yeah. And what? Who a he? messenger of Jesus or God? Well, he, God is Jesus. So... Do you believe that Jesus was there in the beginning? What? Do you believe that Jesus was there in the beginning? Why, why, why are you laughing? I mean, are you are you a man or you want to be a kid? If you want to speak, no, no. If you want to, um, speak to me as a as a kid, I can humiliate you. Trust me, you don't you can't play games right, with me. Right. So speak no, as I'm, a man, so I can speak to you. All right, all right. Okay. All right. So what do you want to so, so, make so. the question again? Do you believe that Jesus appears upon him and he's God? Yes, the, is God. Yes, and, and the Quran actually in the right. verse confirming that Jesus is God. Like, because let me ask you, isn't it this verse in chapter thirty-six speaking about those are the messengers of Jesus? Not a messenger of Jesus. They spoke are you, Jesus. Are you eating and talking to me? No, no. no. I, I put away, brother. I'm now listening clearly. Okay. So, so those, I'm asking those... you now, chapter thirty-six, the verse is speaking about the third messengers, the three messengers. Does this speak? Yeah. That those are the messengers of the Messiah, yes or no? Well, they supported the message of the Messiah. No, no, don't like tell, me, other other tell me. Is it are they the messenger of the Messiah or not? They're the message of God, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay, but who is the one sending them according to Islamic interpretation? What do you mean by sending? God sends messengers. This is not the, the question. People, who is the one who sent them specifically? Does it say that it is Jesus? Where does it say that? Well, it's in the front of you. So what we are showing in the mm -hmm. screen, why you are calling me? No, see, bro. Yeah, but I got a question because Paul went against don't, don't, the don't, don't change, don't change. This is Ibn Kathir saying that Paul, he wanted to kill Jesus. He wanted to kill Jesus, which means he was exist in the time of Jesus, according to, to Ibn Kathir. And he took yeah, his, he, he, took his he, he ride his animal and he went to the gate of Damascus to kill Jesus. And, and then the Messiah appeared, the angel of God, it says, appeared and he hit his face with his wing, with the end of his wing, and he made him blind. So what do you say? <coughs> and then uh, Paul, he asked Jesus for forgiveness. He repent. And Jesus, he make him see again. What do you say? Well, well, I, I believe that Paul existed during Jesus, but I didn't believe this that. This is not question. Paul... I'm asking you why you Muslim saying in your website that Paul, he became a believer in Jesus and Jesus made him blind. And this was when he went in the way to Damascus and, and Paul became a good person, who be, a good believer, and he believed in the Messiah. We can believe, but he has no authority to preach to say stuff that, my friend, that, that my are friend, true. No, no, you Muslims, you say that Paul is a false man. So in your Islamic books, guys, I made the link short for those who are asking for the short link. I was able to make the link short. You see it there. You can open the link and you can open it music too. You can read it yourself. So what do you say, my friend? I say, uh, Paul, yeah, of course he, he did bad things because he, you, he claimed that Jesus was God. Okay, hold on. So uh, well, why Paul, Paul he did bad that? things. Why he claimed that Jesus is God. So why are you Muslims saying in your books that Paul was a good believer and he believed and he uh, and was accepted from him? Because there are two posts: one Paul of the Bible and one Paul of the Quran. Ah, 
okay, prove the that there is two uh, pawns. Prove to us that there is two pawns. Because both of them have different messages. That means that, that there's something not right. My friend, there's, um, let's, let's say there's two pawns. Let's, let's, let's say there's ten pawns. The pawn in the front of us here, he wanted to kill Jesus. And Jesus made him blind. And this is perfectly fit with the story of Paul in the Bible. He hmm. was discriminating the Christians after the Christians to kill them, not to kill Jesus, as your stupid scholar saying. So here, it says that this man, who his name is Paulus, he wanted to kill Jesus, which means you Muslims, not only silly, you should not say such a thing, because how he will kill Jesus if Jesus is in heaven? Secondly, he heard that Jesus is going to Damascus. So according to you Muslims, Jesus, he went to Damascus. Number three, when he went there to kill Jesus, an angel of God hit him in the face. Why the angel of God is defending Jesus and making the blind the man blind? And then the man, he repented to Jesus. And when he saw that, this Paul, what happened to him, he became blind. He wanted and he believed in the Messiah. He did not believe in Allah, he believed in the Messiah. Then he came to the Messiah. According to you Muslims, Paul, he met the Messiah in person. Mimi Hijab, he says, Paul, he never met the Messiah and he came long after. And here it says, and then the Messiah, and he apologized to the Messiah and he believed and the Messiah accepted that from him. And then he wiped his hand by his hand and he gave him his eyes. What do you say? <clears throat> What's uh, you translate the Arabic text, right? Yeah. What's that? Which uh, verse was this? <laughs> Mirza, let your dad call me. I mean, look how many times I repeat it. Chapter thirty-six, uh, uh, the the book of Qasas al Anbiya, page number four hundred four, and now he's asking me what. <coughs> Uh, uh, this is a fake uh, stupid thing. Okay, but let us take him. No problem. <laughs> this is a Muslim. He have an image of, of the Virgin Mary in his sky. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to answer. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so we hang up in the poor uh, Mirza. We thought we got a fish. It turned to be a sardine. Who is next? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim? He can give me the names of the three messengers. <clears throat> hmm. This guy, he hang up. <clears throat> now, give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> Are you guys having a good time? How many of you download the video about Mimi Hijab, the one I posted lately, an hour ago in Patreon? I hope many of you. <clears throat> Do you see how it's fun, really, to debate Muslims? The first thing you notice when you speak to Muslims, they are ignorant, starting from the big to the small, doesn't matter. Number two, there's no dignity in question or answering. Number three, they never answer a question. Number four, the second, the question is embarrassing, they change the topic. Number five, they don't dare to debate you in your face, so they make videos in your back and they cut the video and play with it. Number six, don't insult the prophet. Why? 
your prophet he insulted Jesus he insulted me he insulted the Christian women he raped Christian women he kidnapped them from their husband and he allowed to kill us and he ordered his men to kill and he killed a lot of Christians
All right, I hope I'm I'm heard, guys. I apologize this, that the internet died suddenly. <clears throat> uh, let's fix this. We have a problem with the internet. All right. Yeah, maybe they are trying to uh, to block the server I use to uh, broadcast, you know, the fake IP. But it's okay. I will change it. Uh, there is a Muslim. Uh, there is a Muslim. He said that the hadith I am showing is matruk. You, you know, look at you, Muslims. Do you know what matruk mean? It is lifted, right? Okay. Well, is the Quran matruk? And secondly, if this is matruk, why it's in your book? Why are those stories on your book? Why it doesn't say that? And let me show you, if we go right now to Ibn Kathir, is my voice coming good, guys? Is my voice coming good? Am I heard? Just to show you the fantasy of this cult. They have a fantasy. They don't have knowledge. Anytime you say something embarrassing, the Muslim, they say, we reject it. Did we lose the internet again? <clears throat>
All right. I don't know if my voice is coming. We have electricity problem. I thought in the internet first, but uh, look like we lost electricity. I'm heard. Am I heard, guys? Am I heard? Mm, let us see. Do you hear me? All right. Yeah, I have. I hope we will not lose electricity again. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, there is a Muslim. Before I, I lose my connection, I saw his uh, his text saying, uh, uh, "The hadith I am showing, or the statement I am showing in uh, Ibn Kathir, is saying this is matruk, rejected." You see, you Muslims, it's matruk, not matruk, it's in your book, and this is getting you busted. Because how in certain time, you Muslims, you have such a statement, if this is was bad, if if Paul was always bad in the image of Islam, this story should not be there anyway. Secondly, why your prophet never say one word about a guy, his name is Paul, and you Muslims should hate him? The Quran never spoke about anyone is bad from the disciple of Jesus, except one, the one who betray him. And actually the story is not in the Quran. It's like Muslims, they disagree about it. Because according to many stories, all the disciples of Jesus, they became Jesus. How is that? When the Roman, they came to arrest Jesus or the Jews, Jesus, he said to his followers, who want to be, took my look. So I can run away because Jesus in Islam is a coward man. So Allah or Jesus, he put his look in all the 12 disciples. And when they entered the room, they saw 12 Jesus or 13, sorry. And now they are confused about which one is Jesus. <laughs> so what is the story about what is the correct story you Muslims you have about Jesus and the disciple you can approve? A person who came 1400 years after Muhammad, he says to us, this is a story we don't accept. Why it was accepted in the time of Ibn Kathir? And how today it's not accepted? You met any of those guys who spoke about Muhammad or what Muhammad say? Did you meet any of them? You were there? Do you see the deception? Anything is embarrassing, they say, this is Daif. Yeah, this is the uh, yeah. even if it's a hair Bukhari, however, you see, I want to go with you with your drama. Who is the Muslim can give me the names of the messengers of the Messiah according to the Quran? Because if you if you don't approve, it is Paul. We have to give us the name, give us the names. Is that fair, guys? Who is the hero, the Muslim hero, who can give us an approved story about? The names of the three messengers. Uh, we have a Muslim who is calling me Christian boy. <laughs> no problem. You can insult me. Let's see who is the boy. I'm calling him now. <laughs> Here we go. We try to call him. He don't. <coughs> he don't answer. Where is Yusuf? for those jokers now let us see the other guy the mutar guy
Please not answering to. It has a block the second guy. Who is a brave Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? <clears throat> Any half one? Any quarter one? All right. You know what? I'm going to stop this broadcast and I will come back right, right away. Just give me 15 minutes. What do you think? And we will make the coming video about uh, Da'if Hadith. Da'if Hadith. Da'if Islam. Da'if a prophet. What do you think? Is it a good idea? This religion does not have anything authentic anything is anything is possible to be not authentic anything including the Quran and when we ask them about the Quran they say the scholars ag disagree about the, the meaning of the verse so we will see who is the Muslim brave half Muslim one Muslim full Muslim I don't care who will call us and give us the names of the three messengers in the Quran because why Allah he mentioned this story of the three messengers who they are the messengers of the Christ according to all Muslims you have to name them for us secondly how Christ can be a messenger yet he have messengers of God if he is a messenger if I am a messenger I cannot make you a messenger only God he sent his messengers and the Quran confirmed that those three are messengers of Allah in the same time the Muslims agree that those are messengers who sent to the city of Antioch so give me like 15 minutes I will make a cup of tea and let me uh, let me create the Uh, the additional uh, <clears throat> broadcast and create one we will call it uh, Islam Allah Muhammad Hadith all is Daif between two bracket week is that fair guys I mean this is what they say to us you ask for it get ready so uh, <clears throat> hold on let me find the weak hadith so I will come I will I will make it uh, an image everything is weak Allah is weak the Prophet is weak angels are weak and we will prove it in the coming broadcast just give me 15 minutes here we go we took selfie smile alhamdulillah and this is a thimble image all right bingo no the image is a small hold on we mean to make it a bigger selfie Bigger selfie. Bingo. All right, guys. So now it is 4.33. Let us say we will be back in 4... Uh, uh, 40. Just give me a little bit of a break. What do you think? Good? Are we good to go? All right. Uh, let me give you the link for the other broadcast. So you can go right away there. <clears throat> uh, 
and we can get this topic busted and fried. And please always, when I make videos, download them. I don't keep them in my channels. As you see, one day they can lie about what we said and what we did, we can get them busted. And not only that, you know, the more we load them everywhere, the more we get this cult busted. As simple as this. Very simple. All right? So we will be back in less than maybe 15 minutes from now. Uh, it says, uh, uh, you know, the time for you there. This is the link. Please click on it and join, and I will finish with this one. And don't forget to download this one too so we can love. Thank you, and God bless you. Take care.